I showed you how to make a hoodie and I showed you how to make a bunny mask and due to popular demand I'm gonna show you how to make a oh cargo oh pocket oh <laughs> Bro. my bad for the clickbait what's up it's Brandon Josh or Brandon Josh here if you want to see a pant review pant review I meant a pant tutorial I'm gonna make it when I hit 1 million followers so better get subscribing better get liking make sure to subscribe hit the bell notifications and yeah I'm gonna show you how to make a cargo pocket so let's get right into it so 360 degrees let's go all you're gonna need is a pair of fabric scissors I'm also gonna show you like a second pair right here. That's like the smaller pair to cut the thread. Then you'll need a measuring scale. I always use the same one from school <laughs> or a measuring tape, which is more practical because you can like use it in many different ways. Then you're gonna need a zip. Here I bought these zips on Amazon, but we should boycott Amazon, so buy them somewhere else. They're mostly like 20 centimeters to 30 centimeters, so and make sure that they don't open at the other end so that it has a closed end with the metal clasp. And yeah, as you can see here, that's the zip. And the most important thing you'll need is the fabric. As you can see here, I got some scraps from my other trousers, and that's enough to like make I don't know like 10 cargo pockets so yeah that's the material we are going to use as you can see here it has to be like the size of your hand and we can't forget our trusty sewing machine I got the Toyota Super Jeans J15 it's in this video so make sure and watch it now you're gonna get yourself the fabric which you're gonna use to make the front piece you're gonna make it like roughly your the size of your hand. I mean, you can make it bigger or smaller as well, but I mostly make it as big as my hand. Then you're gonna cut out like a rounded rectangle. I mean, you can also make different shapes, but I'm gonna come to that a bit later. As you can see here, it's not pretty nice, but the thing is you have to just have like a rough shape. And here you can see me just finishing up, making it a bit nicer. But the main thing is that you have like a rough shape in your front piece because you can anyway uh, clean it up when you sew it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the front piece. And on to the next one. And on to the side panels. We're gonna use like other scraps for that. As you can see here, I'm showing you how thick or how deep a pocket can be I mean you can make it as deep as you want but don't make it too small or too wide otherwise it will ruin the shape of the pocket itself I mostly do it by heart I don't really measure anything or so I just go by my gut feeling so here you can see I cut out the first piece as you can see I'm just cutting it and making it nicer and yeah sorry by the way if it's unfocused sometimes and yeah here you can see it's not enough to cover the whole space like the whole pocket itself that means we gotta make another panel and sew both the panels together and here is me pretty much indicating that i have to lengthen the side panels so then you just get a different piece of fabric and cut out the panels as well and in this you can also like play around with the colors you can make it like color blocked or whatever and yeah that's pretty much it and as for the pocket itself you can also use different color materials you can use different materials in general and yeah that's pretty much it and now i'm laying it over so that i know how to sew it together you can also let the fabrics face outwards so that it looks a bit more rough but i always let it face inwards and yeah and that's pretty much it i'm sewing the side panels together like all both the pieces and then cutting off the excess threads with the smaller pair of scissors now with the big one <laughs> as we know and after cutting the excess thread off you got the side panels they're finished as you can see here they have different colors and then you just add them to the front piece and see if the outlines go together 
and if they do you're good to go the next thing we got to do is sew in the zip now we're gonna sew in the zip into the side panels for that you're gonna get your zip and then you're gonna see which side you want to sew the zip into like you can make it face right or left depending on which side of the trouser you're gonna sew it on or which side of the hoodie you're gonna sew it on or whatever it depends like on which side you want it on and you gotta see how it fits perfectly so yeah make sure the the zip is facing the right way and then you just need to measure the distance between the end of the zips and make sure that the zip is located in the middle then you just cut out like the depth of the zip like into the fabric into the side panels on one side and into the other i recommend cutting it right over the metal clasp and the zip itself and then you just cut it open on that one side so that you got a niche which you can sew the zip into and next i'm basically showing you how to sew in the zip into the niche itself then you basically just turn around the zip and just sew across one side so that you have it like in lock in that niche so that you can use the zip while having it on the side panel and that side panel on the front piece. Then you're gonna take the zip and open up the zip clasp if it's facing upwards or not if it's facing downwards and then you're just gonna sew across the long side and there you go that's the long side of it it looks pretty clean from the other side and that's pretty much it for that and then you're gonna sew it shut on one side for that here you have to open up the zip clasp again and here you can see me indicating where to sew it shut Then you just go and sew it together as well and then you can see there's some excess material you can cut that off and then you have a closed niche on that side which looks pretty clean and then you just do the same thing on the other side and on this side you don't have a problem because there is no zip opening which can can be a hazard while uh, sewing so you just take that here's me indicating again and yeah you just sew that together as well and then you pretty much have a closed zip then that means you sewed in the zip into the side panel and if you have like a bit of material left like from the top of the zip like if you miscalculated like the depth of the zip itself then it's no problem you can just cut that away and on to sewing the side panel onto the front piece with the zip we're just gonna flip the side panel with the zip over the front piece and then we're gonna sew in the side panel onto the front piece as you can see i'm indicating how to sew it on as you can see i opened the zip opening and so that it doesn't get in the way while sewing then you just sew that together that is pretty much straightforward there shouldn't be any problem where the material meets with the zip you should go over it twice so that it's reinforced and as you can see here i just sewed on the side panel halfway because we have to go over it the other way from the other side because we are sewing on the zip from the middle onwards and as you can see here's some access material that you can cut off after sewing the two ends of the side panels together and yeah i'm pretty much closing up the zip here so that i can sew the other side the other half of the side panel to the front piece and yeah that's pretty much it and after finishing the other half you'll have a finished pocket but we gotta cut off the excess material but first we gotta sew it together so that it makes a closed pocket so then you just take the two parts hold them together and sew them together and afterwards you just cut off the rest and then you got the finished product which is a cargo pocket then you just flip it inside out 
and there you can see it's clean as hell <laughs> i'm just kidding but yeah it's pretty clean you got the rounded edges it's rectangular it's pretty nice and you can sew that on any type of material and as i said in the beginning of the video you can also make different kinds of shapes of pockets this is just the basic rectangular with rounded edges type bead pocket but you can also make a tetrahedron pocket for example i made one i'm gonna blend it right here and you can also make a rounded pockets which i can also blend in and yeah you can just go crazy with the creativity as soon as you have mastered like the basics of the pocket making madness <laughs> and yeah you can also as i said before make the pockets from all different kinds of materials you don't have to make it denim but denim has like the best hold so yeah last but not least you're just gonna sew the pocket onto the trouser hoodie bag whatever you want to sew it on and that's pretty much straightforward it's not that difficult also overlap the material as well so that it looks cleaner but most of the time i let it fray like on the sides so that's pretty much it and that's like the last step so yeah and here you go this is the finished product that's the cargo pocket on the pant leg or whatever you want to sew it on it looks pretty nice it's pretty clean and it has a lot of space depending on how deep you make it so yeah here's me opening it here you can see it's pretty ugly inside but it fulfills its purpose and yeah you can make it as big as you want to as small as you want to out of any different materials any different colors it depends like you can go crazy on these like you can let your creativity run wild so yeah i hope it was pretty easy to understand and yeah just a quick side note here's the trouser you have seen on the right side before on a screenshot but yeah here's like the round pocket it looks pretty deformed or misshaped right here but it's round <laughs> and it's a bit smaller so yeah it's pretty easy and it's a nice feature to have on like a piece of garment and yeah that's pretty much it for this so i finished the cargo pocket not the cargo pants unfortunately that would take me much longer <laughs> this only like took me i don't know 10 15 minutes if you want to see a cargo pan tutorial make sure to subscribe you know what to do hit the subscribe button make sure to turn on the bell notification so that you can find all my tutorials and watch them of course like whatever <laughs> what else would you do uh anyways <laughs> As you could see before, I also made like a lot of different cargo pockets in different shapes and sizes. The thing is, it's really easy. You have to just switch your brain on, just try different things. Just also fail because like the first pocket didn't look this good. I mean, it depends if you define this as looking good. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, you can make like any different kinds of shapes. Uh, lastly, I just made uh, a, a tetrahedron sized pocket which turned out really well which also stands out really well from the trousers and yeah if you have any questions concerning the pockets themselves leave them down below if you have any other questions ask me here follow me on instagram and on tiktok brandon josh there as well if you have any questions you can ask me there as well i'm always answering all the dms and i'm so thankful that that also got like good feedback if you have any other questions concerning th those things as well, just leave them down below. Make sure to like this video and let me know what you think about it down below. Yeah, that's all, folks. <laughs> See you in the next tutorial or discussion video or whatever. Make sure to vote in the community tab on YouTube. And yeah, it has been your boy Brandon Josh from Brandon Josh. See you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>